YouTube family, what's going on? I am in Georgia. I'm at my sister's house. You guys know I got family not too far away from Atlanta. 30, 45 minutes out. But we out here. We about to do a fire because they are in the suburbs out here in the country. This is country to me when you compare to Florida. Cut the grass. We're going to do a fire, bro? You got the wood? Yeah, I'm going to get gasoline. Gasoline? Yeah, so how you going to start it? Bro, you don't know how to start a fire you with your hands? That's crazy. Boy Scouts. I'm scared. I've never been in Boy Scouts, but... Anyways, guys, this is what I've been doing. This is a fire pit right here. Pretty dope. All right, so they got a gas tank. Bro, don't blow us up, bro. What's up, mama? You didn't turn on the lights on the thing, from the porch. I can tell you right now, I am like new blood out here. I'm fresh meat because the mosquitoes, I know they're coming. That's what we're doing? The Boy Scouts would be so upset with us. Bruh, that ain't gonna work. Why not? Okay, go. girl, go ahead, swing. You don't know how to do it. Let me show you real quick. Here we go. Yeah, that ain't work. <laughs> Did you hear it about to snap? That shit was about to snap. 220. You are 190. Yeah, right. A few moments later. Hour later, still going. That's not even real wood. Yo, these bugs are on me, man. I need to go back to Florida. This is crazy. Damn, in the jungle. This is such a bad idea, Ray. Why? Go ahead, do it, do it. I don't want to hear nothing if we die. Oh, shit. Why are you running now? Why are you running? Oh, my God. That was crazy, right? That was an atomic bomb underneath the thing. Oh, shit. Hey, it worked. I'm so proud of you, girl. So my son is, has gotten like fascinated customizing shoes. He wants to make it a business. So we are going to try hydro dipping some uh, generic Walmart shoes and uh, see if he can get it down. You ready? Yeah. All right. So you're picking your colors right now? I can't push it. What? Oh my Boy, you gotta do goodness. some push-ups with your fingers or something. The Bruce Lee push-ups. Nah, you spray, gotta spray though. that much paint. That's good. Elijah, how you gonna do design your own shoes if you can barely push down that button? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's painting the soles. You have to unstrap them, Elijah. What? Unstrap them and tape the whole strap. You'll get what I'm saying. That's all right. <laughs> Take it and get it out. Pretty good, and I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Why? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Wait, should I do it for the Yeah, do it like that. I suggest like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, put it in. Put Mix it, it around, swirl it around inside the colors. Yeah, there you go. It's not working on his. Is it the material? What happened, Elijah? Hold on, you gotta wait. Don't you gotta Elijah. Wait a, a little no, bit of... no, come on, you gotta document this because you're gonna get better and better. Come here. The material, right, Elijah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Or born a legend. Yeah. And white. So it pops. Mm -hmm. Twist it up and twist it too. Yeah, there you go. Little by little. But don't check it too far because then it comes up on the paint. Oh, oh that, that's slippery. It's real slippery. Oh my God, why are you making such a mess? I'm right. jealous. Put it right here. Don't be jealous because you're going to have some tool for it. Oh my God, look at that. Right. Different shoe. Let me see the shoe. Material's different. It should grab better onto that material, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see the color. Dip it, and then when you dip it, swirl, just like swirl it around so the whole, all the shoe can collect paint. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Ready? Go. Go. I thought I did. I have green. Swirl it around, swirl it around so it can collect black and green. That actually looks really cool. Yeah. It looks like you went somewhere and you just jump on them. So, oh. you gonna do it again? Yes. <laughs> Remember, it's not gonna be perfect. That's not how it, it, it's custom and it's creativity. Oh, Go. That's right. No, hold on, mommy, because you gotta do. I gotta put more. Uh, Ooh. Mommy, you gotta do Because the other one has white. What's your tape? Did you have tape? I like that one. Too much. We can, we can dip this one a little bit. Like that? You happy, Elijah? Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. Okay, professional. Ooh, let me see. Oh my, that's nice. Water. You gotta get the water out. Valentina, what are you doing? Did you make your shoes? You decided, Valentina? Mm-hmm. Get creative. Ready? 
one. Dip it. Fl uh, flip it over, mommy. Yeah, flip it over and you dip it down. Upside down, yep. Ready? One, two, and three. There we go. Dip Let's it. Put it more in the water. Put it all the way in, oh, mommy. Cool. Put it more in. There you go. And swish it around. Man, that thing like charging and runs into the mm -hmm. grass. Yeah. Very cool. Whoa, that burnout. It was fun? Mm -hmm. You like to do more at home? Okay. Oh, custom fingers. Yes. Cool. <laughs> I bought to a restaurant. Look at this place. Screens everywhere. This has to turn into a club at night. Bro, can you explain what's going on here? I don't even know, man. What's going on here? You've been here before? Yeah, like, but explain I just ate, how it works. I just ate. Basically, you order meat. Throw it right here in this. Kind of put something in there. You put oh, it in. You cook the it. Salad. Cut it. You pick this. You, know. you got a yum yum sauce. Um, you got a spicy sauce. Butter. Salt, vinegar. But this place is all you can eat. Yep. Ooh. Ain't making no money off me. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. But this place looks dope. It looks like a damn club. Bro, it's they crazy. Do make it kind of oh, they have karaoke place. nights. That's why. Okay, mama, mama, chefing up. I see you, girl. I see you. And then we got a, a steak going right here. Hey, so we just got back from Georgia and look what was at my door. I don't know what it is. We about to find out. Another thing, I gotta make a video real quick. I'm gonna make a video on unboxing 245 Beam Team Compressor because I promised somebody in our Facebook group that I would. So I'm gonna do an unboxing of the uh, the Gamma, unboxing of the Beam Team. I'm gonna walk you guys through what to look for and, and how to set up your compressor and how to use it once you've unboxed it for everybody who just got their compressors. No, they're not in stock yet. They're still on back order, but if you have a spot in line, people order the compressor every single day and that's just kind of you know buying your spot in line so every time we do get inventory we do ship it but we haven't been able to keep up with the demand so it stays on back order i mean we just ship as inventory comes in with that being said i'm going to the barbershop now i'm going to do a haircut real quick i usually don't cut hair on saturdays but i'm gonna slide in one appointment and then uh yeah we'll do the unboxing all right we going to lando lakes headlines that's what they're talking about in here what up what up hooping sunday Sure. That's crap, man. What's up, my brother? What up? I don't know how it keeps happening, bro. Hey. Alright, we're gonna see what's in there. Oh, he can do. I got the black one. Okay, these are nice. And that black case is nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. Gotta come with a gold blade. One thing Gamma does well, man. They give all kinds of perks. I like that finish in the back. That's definitely the finish that I would put on a clipper. Clicky as well. A fade blade. And what'd you say, Shannon? They come with the filthy mod? Filthy yeah, blend so, mod? So they come with the mod already. That's why the, they send you the extra gold blade. They oh. said that, that blade is for that that particular, but they said whenever you put the Andes blade on there, they sent the gold one to go with it. That's a major collab on. by Filthy yeah. and Austin. That's a major collab. That's dope. Hey, I appreciate the, the package, man. This is dope. Shout out to my boy Filthy Blends, man. Doing big things. Came up with an amazing idea. And uh, coming up. All right, guys, so we are going to unbox the 245 Beam Team XL. And I'm just gonna walk you guys through this unboxing and how to maintain your compressor and just make sure it's working as designed. So this will come in the box and it just kind of explains some simple things, including uh, airbrush maintenance. Pretty simple, but this video is gonna help you understand it a little bit better. So what comes in the box is pretty simple. You're going to have your charger, but if you have a powered mat like this red one here that you see, you will be able to charge wirelessly. And I just use this space right here. I just put my compressor there and charge it wirelessly. But it does come with your charging cord. It'll only take up one space on your power bar, so that's designed on purpose that way. It'll also come with cleaning tools, including wire brushes, okay? You'll be able to, to clean out your compressor with this. It'll come with your trigger gun, so you can see. It has a cap on it, so you want to remove the cap. Some of these components get loose. Like you can see this is loose already, this component right here. That means some of the stuff gets loose. This is loose as well. It happens during shipping, and it's almost kind of like the way I, I would compare it is like your clippers. Out the box, they're not going to hit. You know, as professionals, we have to make sure that our tools are set up and ready to go. What I want you guys to do is go ahead and tighten everything up. 
but it starts internally. You have a nut here that holds this needle in place. So I loosened that nut and now I can take that needle in and out of place, okay? You want to make sure that that needle is all the way in. Don't push it in too much because if it's pushed in too much, there's a copper piece in there that can bend and it can get stuck in there. So you just wanna push it in until it stops. Tighten it up, make sure it's nice and tight. That handles that step. The other part is making sure that all of these nozzles, there's two here, okay? There's one, two pieces here. Both of those need to be tight. I have had barbers who their trigger wasn't spraying and um, when we opened it up, okay, and I looked inside, I could tell that it was, it was clogged. There was hair in there, okay? So you wanna make sure that you clean out your trigger all the time. Now, another thing that can happen is there's a gasket here there's a little rubber rubber piece here you want to make sure that that is intact okay it's black if it's broken air will leak out so you want to make sure that that's good another part of, of this is this screw right here if for some reason your compressor is attached and it's just running right even without you pulling this trigger you want to make sure that you've tightened this up that this didn't get too loose okay just uses a flathead and you should be good to go once all that's good i'm gonna go ahead and attach this back now this piece right here you don't want it to be too tight you can tighten it but you don't want it to be too tight what this does is a stopper for the needle all right you don't want it to be too tight i usually keep it pretty loose once that's set up and and you know that everything's tight and everything's attached properly we can go ahead and attach it to our compressor and we're locked in we're ready to go the new necks on the compressors, on the trigger guns, they're actually designed to lock you in directly in parallel to the compressor. Um, I know some people, they prefer that the trigger faces the opposite direction. You can do so by unlocking it from the cap and then locking it back in like so. And now you're locked in the opposite direction, if that is how you prefer it. I prefer it the way that it comes. Okay, let's go ahead and put a little bit of aftershave here. Let's see how we're spraying. Oh yeah, look at that. It's spraying beautifully. Has two speeds, okay. That's the slower speed. Oh yeah, look at that. Powerful, powerful. Now between every time I put color in here, I'm gonna make sure that I clear out all the color out of the line and that I put some aftershave or some alcohol or some airbrush cleaner and I spray it through the line. And I'll keep a little bit in there, sitting in there, just making sure that everything's being broken down and then I'll dump it out the next time that I need to use it, put new color and repeat that process. If you just let color sit in here, you're going to clog your compressor. Hopefully that helps you guys out. So that's it guys. That's the unboxing of the Tomb 45 Beam Team compressor. If you have any more questions, you need any help, you can email us at support at tomb45.com. This is a new product, so there's gonna be a learning curve and I, I totally understand. We just wanna be there to help you guys along your journey with this new Beam Team XL compressor. Thank you guys. Now something I forgot to mention guys, if for some reason you have your compressor on and you're not pulling the trigger but air is still running, the compressor is still running, then there may be an issue where we have to tighten something up inside of the trigger gun. What you want to do is you want to loosen this back piece. Loosen this nut, pull the needle almost all the way out, and then tighten it, okay? It's just to get this needle out of the way. And then what you wanna do is you wanna pull this out. And so when you open it up, you'll be able to see, you'll see a screw in there, okay? You'll need a very small flathead, probably smaller than this, to get in there so that you can tighten it. So you can make sure that that's nice and tight. If that screw that's inside is not tight, it's going to let out air. And so that is the issue that you're running into. Once you've tightened it up with a, a small flathead screwdriver, then you can put this needle back in and you should be good to go. Just make sure that this trigger gun is also tightened and you'll be all set and running. If you have any more questions, do email us at support at tomb45.com. Thank you.